Architecture school is known for one of the highest dropout rates, overworked students, and all-nighters. But what if I told you it doesn't have to be this way? Today, I'm going to be showing you seven productivity tips that helped me survive architecture school which for the most part, when I was in school, I followed most of these. And as a matter of fact, if I could go back, I would do all of them with a higher execution and I'd definitely be a lot more successful today. But I want you to get that head start, starting with tip number one, create an after action analysis to improve your productivity over time. I use Xtiles workspace to lay out everything that I have to do. You can drag and drop your to-do list and create blocks outlining everything that you have to do. You can set deadlines for each task outlining action steps, and indicating how long each task is going to take you. What helped me the most was keeping track of how long each task would take me in X tiles, either using the notes or the table feature. When I started doing this, I was able to see where I was wasting time and figure out the bottlenecks of what I did. By doing this, I realized I was wasting time just messing with materials, placing assets, and figuring out bottlenecks where I could minimize or limit doing these things to maximize the effort and efficiency of the process. And that brings us to tip number two, never turn something in late again by not leaving tasks in your head. Early on in school, I thought I could get away by writing the assignment and project brief in my notebook or thinking that I could memorize all five parts to the assignment and when it was due one month from now. What really happened was either my notebook got stuffed away super deep in my backpack not to be seen for weeks or I instantly forgot the assignment when I started talking to my friends after class about what we were gonna do that weekend. A better solution would have been to use Xtiles mobile app and take one minute to write down notes and all the tasks that I had to complete for the next couple weeks. Then I could categorize them, give them deadlines, and even assign them to team members. The notes that you take on your phone are automatically uploaded to the quick notes onto your computer in Xtiles. On your desktop, you can easily drag blocks in and out of your quick notes so you can organize all your ideas and pages. But if you like to procrastinate assignments, then tip number three is for you. Prevent all-nighters by waiting until the last minute. You're probably thinking, you are crazy. I'm not gonna do that. Hear me out. When do you find yourself the most productive and working in flow state? Usually it's a Friday night when you wanna go out but you totally forgot about that assignment due at 11.59 p.m. Now, all of this could have easily been avoided if you followed the first two steps in this video, but here we are. There are two things we can learn from this scenario. One, we sometimes work better when we're under pressure or we have to meet a deadline. When we have something fun planned, we see that activity as a reward for completing the task. So to apply this, what I do is meticulously plan my day in X tiles, always filling up my calendar extremely tight so that I can set easy deadlines for myself. But I always make sure to schedule in something fun or relaxing in the middle of the day and at night so that I'm forced to have those breaks. But in X tiles, I can drag tasks from my to-do list on the calendar, giving each task a specific amount of time it's gonna take to complete and also give it a deadline. And what has worked for me in the past is giving a task 30 minutes that usually might take me an hour. And what I've found many times after creating that after action report is that tasks tend to expand to fill the amount of time you have allotted for them. But obviously you don't wanna turn into a robot with this meticulously planned schedule. So make sure to plan out some fun activities throughout the week. And if you don't end up finishing everything that you had scheduled for that day in X tiles, you can just drag and drop to whatever other day that you feel like you're gonna complete it. I was a little hesitant to switch to using the calendar in X tiles because I relied so heavily on using Google Calendar for classes and meetings. That was until I found out that Google Calendar seamlessly integrates with X tiles, making it easy to manage my schedule all in one location. So not only am I able to have my to-do list my notes and my projects in X tiles, but I can also keep track of my calendar and keep everything in one platform. Now that you've learned how to do an after action analysis, a brain dump using X tiles mobile app and seamlessly integrate X tiles and Google calendar, I'm going to show you how to steal like an artist to come up with ideas faster using tip number four. I was always under the impression that stealing ideas was wrong and plagiarism. When I began architecture school, I felt that everything had to be designed perfectly. Because of that, I could never settle on an idea and would spend way more time than I needed to to come up with a project. And that's kind of the moment I realized something had to change. But then I learned how to steal wisely 
And what I did was went to places like Pinterest and Arc Daily and gathered a bunch of resources of projects that I thought looked cool. But that's where most people stop. I went a step further and actually read through the description of the project and started finding details of how they put these things together. From there, I would use the Xtiles Google Chrome extension to clip the text and the images and bring it in so that I could start compiling images and create a mood board for my precedent research. This way, Xtiles makes it easy to customize your workspace, combining both text and image. The goal of stealing like an artist is to observe the successes of others and see what they did well and what didn't work for them. From there, you can start using the images and the text that you gathered to start making informed decisions on your project, not directly stealing their idea of this window, but using the idea behind what they did and applying it in a different way to your project. What I love about Xtiles is having all my ideas in one place, which gives me the ability to link pages and ideas between various projects with notes and collections. In the research process, I'm also able to collect material palettes and furniture inspiration. How I do this is just by clipping different images and then importing them into various mood board templates or image layouts in X tiles. Tip number five, identify your MVPs to manage multiple projects at once. Whether you're working full-time or in school, you'll always be managing multiple projects or assignments at a time. But to effectively juggle all my responsibilities and projects, I turn to Xtiles. Xtiles helps me identify my MVPs or most valuable priorities. In addition, Xtiles allows me to keep all my projects organized individually, yet they are still connected through tasks and my calendar. So I know where I'm at with everything because it's all in the same spot. And I'm super excited about this new Gantt chart feature. If you're not familiar, it allows you to have all your projects and the task list for each one all on one page. And it's basically a timeline of showing when it starts and when it ends. So you can see where your deadlines and start dates are starting to overlap so you can better plan out your projects and the tasks required to get done. And what makes it nice is you don't just have one workspace for all your projects. Xtile allows you to have different workspaces for each project, but you're still able to link them together or keep them all in the same page because of their collection feature they organize but from there each project can be broken down into more specific tabs called collections and these are basically just like subfolders to the main folder but it allows you to add other templates to your project add calendars inspiration boards a to-do section all the notes from your meetings and just keep everything organized throughout by using tasks and links you can connect multiple pages and projects together because later on you can come back and search keywords and find links that are connecting different ideas. So that makes it really easy to go through extensive documents or pages where you have a lot written out. Personally, I've always kind of struggled managing multiple things at once, but using X tiles has helped me gather my thoughts, keep everything in one place. And I know I keep saying that over and over again, but it really is an important factor in what makes X tiles so great. But what's really saved me a lot of time and effort is by creating some standardized templates and using the existing templates that Xtile provides. These templates are just a general layout of how you organize your information, but I can use these from project to project so that each time I have a new project that I need to work on, I'm not always creating a new set of templates and pages. I can reuse what I've already done. And usually nine times out of 10, it still applies to the next thing I'm working on. Usually when you're working on multiple projects, you also have to work with a team. That is why you must listen to this next tip to have better team collaboration. Stop trying to get things done through long meetings and emails. Instead, use a collaborative online platform like Xtiles to, to share files, add notes, and make comments real time all in one place. Additionally, you can add and share each project with team members and clients, and you can adjust the level of access that they have, whether it's just commenting, viewing, or editing features. As online classes and Zoom meetings become more prevalent in our world, it is important to have one workspace where your team can work together real time. From my experience of online classes and Zoom meetings, I would actually say it's harder to get things done as a team online. But that was my opinion before I started using Xtile. Now you're able to work on Xtiles. You can use the table feature to delegate responsibilities for all the members of the team and keep track of all the deadlines. But it allows you to effortlessly manage multiple projects and teams. In addition, it allows you to adapt projects to any team structure, whether in-house or with client accounts. But what I really like about it is having real-time brainstorming and remote teamwork all in one place. Being able to take notes and summarize meetings. You can watch as your notes and ideas 
transform into documents and projects that resonate. Here are some things that set Xtiles apart from other programs. Xtiles combines the features of different programs all into one space. It's pretty easy to use and you don't need months to figure out the functionality. You can literally just get started within one day. You can organize everything super personalized and aesthetically without many boundaries. You also have the ability to store all your notes, links, and ideas in one place, creating databases and collections for materials, projects, tasks, etc. You have the ability to share projects with clients and you can create mood boards and notes on upcoming projects and share them with the client. Xtile is a visual space that you create according to your own rules. And Xtile collects tasks for you so you can spend less time managing tasks and more time being creative. And if you want to try Xtiles for yourself, I will leave a link in the description for you to download it along with links to the templates I use and recommend. And Xtiles has a ton of additional templates that you can choose from. Now that you know these tips to work smarter and more effectively, you are equipped to survive architecture. But make sure to share this video with your friends so that you can all make it out together.